In this video, I want to show you how you can create this interaction inside of Figma. Let's go. The first thing to do is to get your images. Go to Google Chrome and search Boga PNG. Right click on them and you can copy them or you go to the link. Now, if I click on copy image and go back to my file, I can paste it inside my file. Select all of them, align them this way, and then group them. Control G, draw a frame for them. You can now move them into your frame. Now, because we're not using auto layouts, we're going to need a grid. So I'll draw an arrow in, and that is where I want the image to be. The next step is to animate this, uh, but you will need multiple screens to be able to animate this the way we want it to function. So first things, let's select all of it and drag it in a bit and then ensure that they are center aligned and then duplicate this screen. Once you duplicate this screen, then we're going to make some adjustments to the previous one. So we're going to move this out a bit, select this other one and then with the scale tool, you can scale from one end and then I'm going to bring back this other one. Let's do this. I'm going to select all of this, press enter, then hold shift and deselect this one. And then with this open, just change that back to zero. And that's perfect. We we'll need to adjust what we have done here on this one. If not, we're going to have a broken scale. Copy this other one and then bring it into this frame. We'll paste it here, send it to the back, and then get rid of this old one. Now we have the same. It's the same. All right. Let me delete this and do it again. So you're just duplicating this one, and then you can just move it this way, zoom into it. Now we need this other one to be bigger, and this one is going to be smaller. So we're going to do that. We'll select this, copy this code, all right? Select this one, and just scale it out a bit. It's about 784. So you know what? I'll just scale it up to 784. And this other one would take up the size of this smaller one, which is 360. And there are some other adjustments there. So let's scale that to 360. We're going to paste that code in there 784.33. And that's perfect. Now this guy is going to come to the center to take up that space where we have it over here. We're going to scale this guy down, but not yet. So let's duplicate this and then we'll move this out for now. And then we would scale this guy down. Just ensure that the frame is still cutting outside of your major frame. We're going to do the same for this guy. Grab this one, move him in, and then we're going to scale this one everything selected we'll have to bring this to closer what you can do is select your frame and unclip it with that you can now move this in whichever way you want to move it but i'm using the shift and the navigation key to move it in all right that's it then lock the frame now it's time for us to prototype so go to the prototype tab click on it and then from this one you're not going to select the frame itself you're going to select the images and then from the image you're going to see this shooting out just drag to the next one to the frame itself and then we're going to be using on drag as an interaction and this is going to be not on ease out it's going to be on smart animate and then it's going to be on in and out now the in and out we're doing is to give it some kind of bouncy effect right so from this one we're going to select it and move it to this other frame the same thing just choose on drag it to fill up the rest and then if we want to go back we we'll have to select the end of the frame and move it to this one and we're going to choose on drag as well and then select this frame as well and drag it to this other frame and choose on drag. Now, just before we play the prototype, the reason why we made these other guys smaller is because we want to have some kind of effect that makes the design become smaller when we scroll to make it seem like it's a parallax effect. So what happens is you try to scroll and then it grows on you. So it's smaller and then it grows to become big. So let's play our prototype. You can see how small it becomes 
and you can go back and forth all right and that is basically how you can create this interaction i'll see you guys very soon